Hello everyone, thank you for this video entitled How to Receive What You Desire Using Law of Attraction. Guys, I'm just a guy coming to you today on Mother's Day here on planet Earth, okay? <laughs> Third rock from the sun with a positive motivating message. And I have a very special guest with me today and um, you guys do not know who she is. <clears throat> She's going to be talking to you and giving you a message on how to receive what um, on how to receive what you desire using law of attraction. Now I've touched on this, but I'm going to bring it to you from um, her perspective. Okay, and she's a young lady, and I've came across her video, and uh, we're going to listen to what she says has to say here, and I'll be the commentator here and inject, uh, probably interject here periodically. But folks, this is a very important, inspiring, motivational message to help you. And by the way, um, a big shout out and, and hello to all the mothers out there here on Mother's Day. I'm gonna be going off and seeing my mother today. Um, so do something kind or nice for your mom if she's still here on this earth and show her that you love her. But today we're going to be talking about how to receive what you desire using Law of Attraction. I've came across her video. She's a young Asian girl. Her name is Sharon. And I want you guys to hear her perspective and what she's got to say. It's pretty important. On how what you think affects how you feel. And what you feel affects what you believe. And what you believe you receive into your life. Stay on to this, vi this video to the very end, folks. This stuff is important because out of it spring the issues of life. Okay? So we're going to um, hear Sharon's perspective on this. I'm going to let her talk on this video. And then we'll uh, listen to what she has to say and hopefully apply it to be a better person in this world. Here we go. My name is Sharon and I just decided to make a video today because I have felt really inspired and practicing the law of attraction and it has finally worked. I know for a fact it works, but I just want to talk a little about a little bit about what is really important to understand before it works because I had to learn this the hard way or at least realize this um, before anything actually. Now folks, this video is about 12 minutes long but stay on the very end. This stuff is important and this stuff goes for me as well, not just those watching this video, okay? Helped or before I, before I was able to manifest anything and that is about your vibes. <laughs> So my intention with this video is basically just to help you and share everything that I've learned and hopefully save some um, struggle, <laughs> like, you know, just kind of give you some tips and help out any way that I can um, if you're trying to practice and manifest things into your life because I finally learned this and now it's just all working out. I believe that there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason, and you clicked on this video for a reason. As I felt like making it today out of nowhere. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's talk about the law of attraction and what that actually is. So we have 12 universal laws that we cannot avoid. Just like the law of gravity. What goes up must come down. Doesn't matter if you're a good person or if you're a bad person. If you jump off of a building, you're gonna hit the floor like that. So out of the 12, there is the law of attraction that like attracts like. This law shows how we create the events, people, and things that come into our lives. All of our thoughts, words, feelings, and actions give out energy, which in turn <clears throat> attract the same energies. Positive energies will always attract positive energies, while negative energies will always attract negative energies. Whatever that... See so guys, so whatever we're putting out to the universe <clears throat> starts with what we think and it affects how we feel. And what we feel puts out a vibration into the universe. 
and whatever we give out, we receive back, whether that's positive or negative. Let's continue. We put our attention on and focus on and feel is what we're going to get out of life or how we're going to perceive. So whatever we think upon and feel and put out is what we, we receive back, folks. Okay? So as you give, you receive. Thanks. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people are really, really interested in using the law of attraction because it states that you can literally have whatever you want, which I truly believe in. If you want it bad enough and you feel that you and you work for it and you feel as if you already have it and you live in a life of love and, and gratitude and abundance, it, things will happen for you. Trust me. Just as a little background on myself, I have my own personal goals that I'm trying to manifest, but one of the ones that I needed to make happen quickly is I need to start making more money. Now, mind you, what got me to making this video is I was not in a good place before. I was not able to really see a clear vision of me having what I wanted. But one of the things that I knew that I really needed to do was make more money. And I was just not in a happy place. Not really <clears throat> being able to see the bigger picture because I wasn't able to make enough money to be able to pay for the things that I needed in order to keep continuing um, doing what I'm doing. And just to give you a little, just to let you know that it works, I have manifested to get a new job where I have $4 increase. I'm making the salary that I want and pretty soon here I'll be able to do what I want in comfort and not have to worry which I'm so blessed and thankful for. And that starts for me next week, which I feel is no better timing to make this video because now I know for sure that this is, this is working. <laughs> what you need to understand about Law of Attraction before you go using it is, is what Law of Attraction is. It's, it's exactly what it says it is. Like attracts like, and what you put your energy and your focus on is what you will bring and what you will get more of. Okay, so what you put your focus and your energy on is what you're going to get back, folks. You see that? So, one thing that I had to really find out on my own and learn kind of like the hard way is I was not in the right state of being. I did not understand that you really have to be aware and conscious of your thoughts and your emotions in order for it to work. So what I mean by that is let's go back to energy. So we are all energies, right? So energy is just another word for frequency. We have all these frequencies. We're all radiating, radiating different levels of energy, different levels of frequency. What that is, is emotion. Our emotions are the vibes, are the vibrations. Okay, so our emotions are the vibrations. Our feelings are our vibes. And whatever vibes we put out, folks, into the universe comes back to us. So if we're putting negative vibes out in the universe, as you give, you receive back. See? When you're in that negative state of being, you're putting out negativity to the universe and the universe is going to give you back exactly what you emote out to it. See, this is powerful stuff. Emotions we give out, our emotions are the frequencies we, we attract and the frequencies we have as humans. Everything has a vibration and everything has a frequency. We're just our energy. Our emotions is what we give off. And our thoughts are what form and what how our emotions even come about. Our thoughts... So this all starts with how you think. See? Stuff that people don't even think about. What we think about makes us feel a certain way and produce a certain vibe. So what you think, folks, is very, very important. Are, are so powerful. It's crazy. But we can be in control of these so easily if we're just aware of our thoughts. 
And it's important to not let your thoughts control your feelings because... Okay, you hear that? It's important you don't let your thoughts control how you feel. Folks, even if chaos is going around you, is all around you in your life, in your family, with your friends, you don't have to let the way you think affect how you feel. See, that's important. There is a million thoughts that we have a day, a million thoughts that we have in just an hour, and it's up to us whether we feed into them and place our attention on them, especially if it's a negative thought, and allow that to determine the emotions that we feel and overall lower our vibrations. I did not, it took me a while for me to get that and it's really important. So basically, it's very important to realize where your emotions are at because in order for you to manifest anything in your life or to even just have a happier and better life in general, you need to be aware of, of how you feel. You need to be in control of your thoughts and emotions. And when I say in control, I mean that you have to be aware of your thoughts and not let them determine how, how you feel based off of them. You are the one who decides whether you let your thoughts become feelings. Now, you see that? You're the one who chooses to allow your thoughts to affect how you feel. You are the one who is the master of your own destiny. You are the one who is responsible to make yourself successful, not no one else, in whatever you get in or do to work from home. You are the master of your destiny. See, it's all about taking personal responsibility. No one else can do this, folks, except you. Meditation helps and I can get more further into that in another video but being able to just be aware of your thoughts and not really judge them and just kind of let them go by and choose to be have a happier have happier thoughts and happier emotions it just see you just choose folks to be happier in life you just choose the not to focus on the negative you choose to live a happy prosperous and abundant life because it's all about free will. See, no one can make you feel a certain way. No circumstance can make you feel a certain way unless you permit it to, unless you allow it to. You see, check it out. It, it, it changes your life, it really does, because it, it's how you feel. It's really simple, yet I feel like it's something that we, and just in general, we're so distracted by everything, we're, you know... Now, you heard her say that we're distracted by everything. You guys wonder why we're manifesting what we manifest in our life? We get so distracted by social media, we get so distracted by text messaging, we get so distracted by this problem, that problem, that circumstance, our money issues. And we wonder why we're manifesting what we are manifesting, because we get distracted. See, and we don't even know it. We're letting our thoughts distract us from living a peaceful, happy, and abundant life. So here's a big key. Don't let your thoughts and the negativity of your thoughts get you distracted. Okay, don't entertain the negativity. Just let those thoughts come and let those thoughts go and refocus on the positive. Okay, so this is huge. Don't let your thoughts get you distracted. It's hard for us to really be aware of that. But that is what I feel is like the most important thing to understand before you start trying to manifest and start using the law of attraction because because it is the law of attraction, what it is that you're feeling and thinking is what you're going to get. So you have there to you be go. careful with this. Now, ways that you can raise your vibrations and raise your frequencies. And so what we think and feel is what we're going to get back, folks. As we meditate on, it, meditate on it, as we think it, as we feel it, as we believe it, we receive it. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he and so he becomes. ...is expressing love and gratitude. Those are the highest possible frequencies that us as human beings and our energies can feel and give out, is gratitude and love. They're 
probably the keys to happiness, honestly. And it's really just expressing that things didn't really start happening for me and my outlook didn't really change until I started being more grateful and appreciative of the things that I have in my life. And that instantly made me a happier person. And I changed my thoughts into, I don't have this, I don't have that, into I do have this, I do have that, you know? So different ways that you can, um, you know, feel this way and raise your vibrations is you can start writing a gratitude lists. There's several, several videos on here that go into this, but it really does help and it really does work. Um, so you could just start a list every day, whenever it's the most convenient for you. It is the best to do it as soon as you get up. You express what you're thankful for. Maybe it's your bed. Maybe it's the fact that you have a roof over your head. Maybe it's your pet that's laying next to you or your significant other that's laying next to you or maybe it's the the food that you're eating today the fact that you're watching this video right now that you have this this technology that allows you to be able to like look anything up online and just watch it instantly in just like a matter of seconds that is something to be grateful for there's a million people on this planet that are not as lucky as as you are in that's your for shoes sure. right now that's for sure just to recap the number the number one thing before you start using the law of attraction and before you start applying it is to be more aware and understand that the law of attraction attracts what you feel, what you're putting your attention on, and what your vibrations are and the vibes that you give out and the frequency that you are at is what you will get. And it's important to understand this because now that you know that, you know that you can express gratitude for the things that you have to raise your vibrations. You can love and do small acts of kindness to raise your vibrations. Or even if you could be aware of it, you could choose to feel more of the happier feelings instead of focusing so much on these bad feelings that you don't have to. You're in control of how you feel. And as much negative thoughts that you might have, you don't have to judge them. And you don't have to let them feed into how you're actually feeling. So there you go. You don't have to let it consume you, people. See? You don't have to let the negativity consume you in your life if you don't want to. Here we go. Think the thought and let it go. Watch the thought pass by, but don't... So think that, let the thought come and let it go. Refocus. Put your attention on it. Let it go. Now, I could do another video more deeper on the law of attraction and how it's worked for me. Because um, I... Because I really... Okay, I'm going to fast forward this through this little portion because she says something that I'm not too pleased with. But here we go. But anyways, I hope that this was helpful and that I could talk to you guys again soon um, about, you know, using the law of attraction I can, or going further into detail in how to raise your vibrations because it's just so important. And even if you're not practicing the law of attraction, it's just a really really smart thing to do to be aware of how you're thinking and feeling because if you're aware then you know what to do about them and you can choose happiness and you don't have to allow all of these negativities in your life so anyways hopefully i see you guys in another vid and enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully you bring your vibrations and energy Oh, Boom. There you go. So, guys, that is some good advice. Very good advice. Right? You wonder why people get depressed. See, it all starts with how you think. You can think thoughts of light or thoughts of darkness. You can thought, think good thoughts or evil thoughts. And what you think affects how you feel. And what you feel, baby, is going to give out vibes to the universe, okay? What you emote by what you feel gives out a vibe into the universe. And what you give out, you're going to eventually receive back as you meditate on that, right? 
So what you think affects what you feel, and what you feel puts out a vibration to the universe. And if you meditate on it, you're going to eventually, what you feel is going to affect what you believe. And folks, when you believe something in your heart, what you believe is going to turn into what you receive. You wonder why so many people are receiving the negative into their life? Because of what they think. Hope you've liked this video on how to receive what you desire using Law of Attraction. Think about this video, guys. Pass it on because it's so important. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.